What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here and today we are back with another review. This time, I've already brought you the PS4 controller. Today, we're gonna be looking at the Xbox wireless controller with the iPad and iPad OS. Let's check it out. So right here, I have a Xbox wireless controller. Now you notice you got your standard buttons if you've ever played xbox before you got standard buttons you got control pads d-pad you got bluetooth up here it actually comes with batteries it comes with two duracell batteries which if i could get this open two duracell batteries you're going to put those in it's going to come on no problems but we want to really talk about actually connecting this to the ipad itself so i've done a couple of videos before and i'm not going to take a whole lot of time doing this i just want to show you how gameplay looks and how it works uh, with this controller but you're going to just go into your bluetooth settings i'm already in that accessibility you're going to find your accessibility tab you're going to come over here to switch control go to switches look for your Bluetooth devices. And once you pair it, you're gonna turn it on and hold down the Bluetooth right there. Hold down that button until this starts to blink. Once it blinks, it's gonna pop up here. You connect it and boom. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of how to set this up on a more accurate basis. This is just the basics of it. We've been through this before, so just watch that video and check it out. But right now I wanna jump into the actual gameplay and handling of a game. And what better game to do this with than Asphalt 9? So I'm gonna turn on Asphalt 9 and I'm gonna just do a little bit of gameplay and hope you guys enjoy. Watch how this actually handles and I'll, I'll run you through what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So we're waiting for this to load up. I'm gonna move this over to the side some. Okay, so load it up, graphics look really good and we are going to not, we're not gonna touch it. So I want you to notice I'm pressing up and down, up and down. So we're gonna hit play, A button. It's gonna do that. We're gonna click that. It's gonna hit there. So I'm doing everything right here from the controller. I have touch drive off. It's just gonna load up once it all loads up. Now notice the graphics, the sound, everything is really good, really nice. All right, and I'm moving, there we go. And handling really well with this controller. So everything looks good, it's working really well. No issues. Handles really well. I mean, really well. It's handling just like a system, a PlayStation, a Xbox. It's handling just like one of those gaming systems. So it's really awesome that we're going to be able to play this. We're going to be able to um, do different games, especially with uh, Apple Arcade coming out. It's gonna be really, really fun to be able to play these arcade games on the go with your tablet and have your controller on your side. All this stuff is gonna work out really well and to our advantage. So at the start of Apple Arcade, they're gonna have a few games available. I think they're gonna have about 100 games. We're gonna talk about that a little later on in the video. So guys, this has been a little tutorial about this controller. Now, controller handles really well. It feels good. Everything looks great. I've only tried this one game out. We're gonna get more and more games, especially with the introduction of Apple Arcade. So Apple Arcade will be here in the fall. Actually, Apple Arcade will be here in about a week or so. Um, and this is what we have to look forward to. You have unlimited access to 100 plus new games that'll be coming out all in one subscription. Subscription is gonna cost you $4.99. It's gonna be available on all these platforms, your iPad, your Mac, your phone. You're gonna be able to, like I said, no ads, additional purchases, nothing to that. You're gonna be able to download and play online or offline. 
You're going to be able to share with multiple family members. And these are just some of the graphics you're going to get, some of the gameplay that you're going to get. And you'll be able to use these types of controllers with these games. So whether it be a, a Xbox controller, a PlayStation controller, one that you just picked up on Amazon, we're going to break down all those different types of controllers and see how they're going to work and which one is going to be the best one for you and Apple Arcade. So hopefully guys, this has been able to help someone out. Like I said, this is the Xbox wireless controller. I've done the PS4, just wanted to come back with this one. Hopefully this can help you out and make up a decision. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.